past, beheading the enemies or intruders was a means of the indigenous peoples to defend their land and protect the communities. There used to be various rituals related to hunt, head hunting, but most of them have been lost since the practice was banned by the Japanese colonial government. Recently, the Tadawazai family of the Saishat revived Dinadu, a ceremony held before fighting enemies. Chief from the Dadawaze family and elders from other Saishat families give their respect to their ancestors and ask for their blessing in the Dinadu ceremony. The ritual is traditionally conducted before the hunters set off to fight their enemy and defend their land. The ex ancestors spirits for a successful mission. However, the Japanese colonial government banned head hunting, so the Dinadu has rarely been held since, like other related ceremonies. Taiwan's indigenous peoples, apart from Lan Yu's Tao, had all practiced this head hunting tradition, which is called Malagun in the Saisha language. Why did we practice head hunting? Basically, it came from animosity. For example, my eldest aunt was killed by someone from Sakharo. So my grandfather sought revenge at Sakharo and took down three heads. Each Saishad family is in charge of a different part of the ceremony. The Didiyuan family is responsible for the biennial ritual Basta'ai. The Dadawazai family is in charge of the head-hunting ritual Dinadu. They were referring to the flintstone bag. The ceremony was typically held after the harvest and before the seedlings were planted. The hunters would first meet at the Dadawazai family home to discuss their plan for the fight. Dinatu refers to the flintstone bag. Inside the bag, there is a flintstone, banana threads, and a lot of hair of someone we killed. The bag is hung on the beam of the Dadawazai family home. Those planning to hunt heads, no matter which family they belong, always met at the Dadawazai family house for discussions. After they decided to go head hunting, they used the flintstone to start a fire and cook the food they usually ate during the battles. The tour to use in the ceremony must enter and leave house for three runs. This is to ask the spirits of those who killed by the Saisha to leave the house and to rest in peace. Before the door is closed, people must use a sieve to cleanse the air and chase away invisible spirits by fanning it toward the door. However, because head hunting was no longer practiced after it was banned by the Japanese colonial government, Dinadu has become a ceremony comforting the souls of those killed. It is held annually on February 15th of the lunar calendar. TITV Weekly.